Hi there. This is a project budget tracking template. The purpose of this template is to compile all the planned costs for a project and then input all your actual costs incurred for the project. You'll then be able to leverage the out of the box or the calculated fields and graphs in order to help you keep the project on track with respect to the budget. And you'll notice down below here that we have a number of instructions that will help guide you through working with this template. And again, it's step-by-step -step, um, guidance for working with each one of the worksheets that you can see within this workbook. But rather than kind of walk you through or talk you through uh, the, those instructions, let's walk you through or let me give you a demonstration of uh, starting with the startup tab. I'll just walk you through how you would work with this template. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll start on the startup tab here. So within this startup tab, this is where you would input the name of your project. You would also input the date created. And you'll notice uh, throughout this workbook on the many different worksheets that we have, you will see fields in which they're highlighted in blue. And you'll notice that these fields that are highlighted in blue, they're, autom they're automatically calculated, meaning we're not able to edit those. And so this report date is actually the, the today's date, which is automatically being calculated. But this, this, this um, was this. Um, budget was actually compiled on created on December 6, 2023. Now in the department column here, this is where we could input the various departments that might be involved with this project. So you can see we've got department one and maybe that's our marketing department. Maybe our project involves marketing and then we've got our call center or ID number that we uh, could, could also use to help us uh, if we're working within a larger organization um, that we can populate in there but maybe we've got our marketing department and maybe we're working with fine uh, maybe we're working with IT IT and marketing are the two departments that are involved with this project so again in this startup tab that's all the information you have to put in is the name of the project the date you created the project this budget the name of the departments that are involved and if you have a cost center number you populate that in now we move over to the cost sheet um, so within the cost sheet, again, you'll notice a number of cells that are highlighted in blue. You can see our painting project, again, automatically being this, the, the title or the project name is being automatically being pulled across uh, from the previous input sheet. So we don't have to input that again. Our report date and uh, date created automatically being pulled across. But now we want to we want to start talking about populating the cost information or the cells in this cost sheet. So where we might start is with the allocated budget. So we've got this painting project here and maybe top down we've been given or allocated a, 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 an amount to complete this project. And in this case, we're going to say that our management folks uh, allocated $500 uh, for this painting project. So we're able to input that $500 here in the allocated budget. Now you'll notice the total estimated cost and the difference, those are automatically calculated. So where we move to now is we would want to input um, our a planned cost uh, for this project and we would do that by inputting the different items that we would need to purchase so you can see for this painting project of course we would need to purchase paint supplies and, and maybe we need to replace the trim on this project oh by the way um, you'll notice that we have a department code here and I neglected to mention that department co code is automatically being aligned from you can see that marketing is A and our IT is B. So simply by inputting the uh, department code here, maybe we uh, say this um, this trim is actually going to be um, allocated to the, um, if we hit A, that department code A there, automatically tagged with the marketing department. So again, we put in all of the items that we need uh, for the project. We code out the department code, which automatically populates our department. We're able to add some comments here if we need to with respect to um, the items that we're uh, planning to purchase. And then again, this is our estimate we're, we're estimating here in this blue section what we're going to need for this project and here you can see where we're saying we're going to need three in this case three gallons
gallon. Maybe the comment here is, is gallons. So we're going to need three gallons of paint. So we've populated that in. Or, and you can see here, this is, um, again, we could, we could say four and, and the formulas are all dynamic, but we will, uh, we, we will, we'll put that back to three. So we're saying we need three gallons of paint and that paint's going to be $65 a gallon. Um, our supplies uh, going to be $50 and our trim is going to be uh, $25. So we need one of those. And we're getting an extended cost here by uh, multiplying the quantity times the unit cost. That gets our extended cost here. So again, as we're looking at this, you can see that in this blue section, this is our estimated, our estimate, estimate for the items that we need. And this extended cost is actually getting summed up right here. So if we were to add up these items right here, you can see the sum of those items are $270. And that's automatically being placed into this total estimated cost field again, automatically working for you. And then the difference here is the difference between 500 less 270 is 230. So we can see at this point in time, we are, um, our estimate for the items that we need to purchase for this project are well under our allocated budget, okay? And so we would continue following suit here, adding in our items, putting in the quantity and the unit cost and allowing this to get the extended cost. All right, so now if we f fast forward a little bit, and so now let's say we begin execution and we actually go purchase these things. So that's our actuals here. Our, our actuals in this template are here in the yellow or the gold. And so you can see that we actually purchased three cans of paint. So if we follow this across, we act actually purchased three gallons of paint but our cost was only fifty dollars for for the paint and so we get three times fifty is 150 that's our extended actual cost we've got our um we've got our uh, supplies that those were only forty dollars and maybe we actually had to uh, get two two of the two of the trim and maybe instead of being twenty five dollars maybe that was maybe it was thirty dollars and so we put an imp, we input our actuals here and our actuals are being summed up so if we look at this column this column is being summed up and this is our total actual cost is here two hundred and fifty dollars so now we've got a comparison between our total estimated cost, which is the 270, less our total actual cost, which is $50. And, and you can see our difference right now is, is um, a negative $20, which means that we are uh, at this point 7% uh, under budget comparing those two numbers. Right. So and you can see all of these calculations are happening automatically here. Now, just to kind of summarize things in more of a summary fashion, now you can see from this view, very similar. We've got our budget compared to our total estimated cost. And, and again, all of this is being automatically populated. You don't have to enter anything here. You'll notice all of these cells are in blue or, or in this case red um, and it's it's kind of totaling things up automatically you could you could easily from this point do you know maybe do a screen uh, capture to incorporate this uh, you're able to see our estimate in this case by by department so we can see the totals by department and the variance by department we can also see the variance here very similar to what we looked at before but again being automatically calculated. And then finally, we've got our graphs. If you're uh, for visualization, now you're able to see um, graphically um, how our plan versus actual is for the uh, for each of the departments here um, in, in the histogram as well as the pie charts. So again, all, all everything on the summary uh, worksheet as well as the graphs is being automatically pulled forward based upon the information input into the cost sheet. And that's it. Hope you find great value in this.